August 12th marks World Elephant Day. I'm joined now by Patricia Sims, founder of World Elephant Day. Thanks so much for your time. Tell us about the status of the elephant population in China. Well, actually, it's quite impressive what's happened with the Asian elephants in Yunnan province. I mean, the, the herd is stable at 300 wild Asian elephants living in Sichuanbana. And there's certainly been a lot of remarkable attempts by uh, state government and communities to find a way to peacefully coexist with these elephants there, uh, despite the fact that, you know, habitat shrinking is a, is a problem for the elephants and, and different ways of mitigating this are, I know, underway in Yunnan province. Tell us more about these habitat issues. I understand that with the growth of the elephant population in southwest China, conflict between humans and elephants is one of the main issues. What's being done to protect crops and the threat of the retaliation uh, that humans sometimes, you know, take upon these elephants? Well, there's certainly been a number of attempts. Um, I know there's been uh, an early warning system that's been established there that's been implemented over the last couple of years uh, through one of the uh, foundations in in Yunnan province in China, working with local businesses, and that's shown to be successful. Um, there's also been uh, buffer crops planted. Uh, there was a salt marsh planted. There were some beehives positioned around certain areas. These are all sort of strategies that, that help to guide elephants on their migratory routes and stay out of the, the human crop areas. But it's still a problem because they have lost uh, most of their habitat, I think about 40% of suitable habitat, uh, for the Asian elephants in Yunnan province uh, is gone. Now, China banned the domestic trade and processing of ivory at the end of 2017. Have crackdowns on the illegal ivory trade been successful? Moderately successful, but we definitely need to be doing more work. I mean, just in July, there was a, a big seize of, of ivory actually in Malaysia, over 6,000 kilograms. Recently, actually in Hong Kong, there were over 200 pieces of illegal ivory found in a shop in Hong Kong. So enforcement is still an issue. The legislation helps immensely, and we certainly have seen generally a reduction of the amount of ivory poaching, but it's still going on. What about globally? How would you say the status of the elephant population is globally, and what are some of the major threats that, that they're facing in other countries? Well, ultimately for all countries, habitat loss is the major threat. Um, certainly with Asian elephants, I mean, the population across the planet, 40,000 Asian elephants left. They're an endangered species. Uh, habitat for Asian elephants has been a big problem uh, for, for a number of years, and it's becoming increasingly so in Africa as well, particularly for the forest African elephant, which predominantly lives in the northern part of Africa. They're considered a critically endangered species of elephants. All right, Patricia, I really appreciate your time. Patricia Sims, the founder of World Elephant Day. Thank you.